Hey guys, this is my review for Eclipse, the third movie in the Twilight films. And I am very thankful to say there are some positive elements to talk about with this movie. First off, it's directed by David Slade, who has done probably one of the best vampire movies of all time, being 30 Days of Night. Unfortunately, I admit he probably was slightly dying inside to have gone from that gore fest to this gag fest. But I see that he tries his best to focus on the elements of this universe that are slightly a little bit interesting and that is anything to not do with the three main characters Jacob, Edward, and Bella. Every time these guys are on screen the entire story comes to a goddamn halt. The gagging of the dialogue is just atrocious. Jacob is on a full-on abusive, emotionally abusive, psychologically abusive kind of relationship with Bella. I was getting the opinion from people that the relationship she has with Edward is unhealthy. He's a bit eh, in this movie, but nowhere in comparison to Jacob. I can't believe that Taylor Lautner said half of these lines without saying, I'm afraid I'm going to go to jail. So the amount of cringy, cringiness that he has to say, the amount of well, you're clearly in love with me, Bella. You just don't know it yet. Yeah, a lot of these moments were not, not enjoyable. Thankfully, there are bits mainly talking about the history of the Cullen family, talking about different members of the family, how they became vampires, how they know how to fight newborns, which, holy shit, there's a villain in this movie that you actually kind of get behind. Not really the whole Victoria thing. It's, it's all right. I would more so say it's the concept of a bunch of feral vampires ripping people apart and forming this giant army to take on Bella and the Cullens, which, I don't know, I thought it was a little bit stupid, this whole idea just to get at Bella, which is for a guy that I didn't give a shit about. Nard barely knew from the first movie, but I don't know, maybe it's better established in the book. No, no, not gonna, not gonna give that compliment. Nope, 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 nope. There's a lot of action in this movie, thank God, and it's actually pretty well choreographed. In this film, the wolves and the vampires have to work together despite their long history of wars with each other. They have to work together to take on this army of newborns that is coming to savage this little town all the while little Dakota Fanning's watching off on the side kind of like hmm, let's see how shit goes but yeah honestly I actually didn't think this was as terrible as I thought it would be there are a lot of bits that are terrible though don't get me wrong especially when they go up to the mountain that whole mountain bit was just so stupid because all of a sudden Bella's just freezing away you're freezing in this tent now, yet you're gonna be walking around in all of the snow in a t-shirt in the next scene as if it's nothing. But then Jacob comes in and he's like, I could hear this chattering, I couldn't stand it anymore. You're getting in bed with me, Bella. I don't know how anyone was Team Jacob at this point because this dude's a rapey motherfucker. Yeah, it was not comfortable to watch any scene with him in this entire film. The very forced drama that happens between the two of them, especially when Bella's like, Ugh, kiss me. Like I said, anytime that the three main characters are on screen, the film sucks, like very, very poorly. I would say the only bit that any of them have that's redeeming is the end when they're fighting Victoria on top of the mountain and Bella cuts her wrist to distract everyone and and they kill him and then Jacob gets really hurt and he's all sweaty and broken and whatnot. Now the whole marriage thing is gonna happen in the next two. In terms of plot progression, again, nothing really happens between the three main characters or even Bella and Edward. It's just the same shit from the last movie, except more dragged out. But there are elements that are not completely unwatchable. Like I said, any of the elements talking about the history of the Cullen family, very, actually kind of enjoyable. All of the fight scenes, all of the elements. You can see David Slade trying so hard to do some bits that were from 30 Days of Night, especially when the newborns are just ravaging through city streets. I like those bits. Admittedly, was missing like 700 pounds of blood. In the end, Eclipse is so far definitely the most watchable of the three. I don't know how this movie's two hours though. Once again, it is completely overstaying its welcome. It gets really atrocious towards the end. And from what I've heard, Breaking Dawn Part 1 and Part 2 are the exact same thing. They're two hours of complete unnecessary, but I don't know, I guess we'll see. Either way, Eclipse is, it's almost good enough for me to give it a three, but when your main characters are just so unenjoyable that you want anyone else to be on the screen, 
that's not a good thing. Still, the camera work is probably some of the better ones. There's this documentary kind of Michael Greengrass sort of shake throughout the whole thing, which is a little bit, I don't know, I think it's them just trying to vary up. Every film so far now has had a different kind of color palette, a different kind of technique in terms of how everything is shot. It's a lot more rough and tumble in this one, so that might work well for you. And for me, it worked in certain situations, and others when it's just straight on conversations. It's like, I think it's them trying to make the scene interesting because they know the dialogue's trash and garbage, but they're like, maybe if we shake the camera a bit, maybe it might be a little bit more <laughs> interesting. In the end though, I can't, I can't, I can't give it a three because then that's slightly almost at a passing grade but i will say <sighs> three would be incredibly generous but in the end i'm going to give eclipse a two out of seven as well it's the best one of the three so far though i, I can definitely say that i'm i'm already getting comments from you guys about breaking down part one is going to be terrible so woo i'm looking forward to that bit but this wasn't entirely terrible i only had to take a break once whereas new moon i had to take like four breaks this one i only had to take one so that wasn't bad by the way guys i hope you enjoyed this review i hope you enjoyed this torture because i didn't but at least you guys get something funny to watch i hope anyways i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe otherwise i guess a wedding's coming now Ugh. thanks for watching the video my name is nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic tv show undergrads it's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.